One of the things you'll hear said about open baffle speakers is that they have less room interaction. And by that, they mean that, you know, you get a room that's reflective. It'll be less reflective with an open baffle speaker as opposed to a box speaker because the open baffle speaker being a dipole has those side cancellations. So you're getting a cancellation on either side of the speaker. Okay. So you're getting less reflection from the sidewall and less reflection from the other sidewall because of that cancellation. But I would contest that and say that it's actually the opposite. You're actually in my view, and it's pretty obvious to me anyway, that you're getting more interaction with the room. And it goes back to that video I made where I talked about the real difference between box speakers and open baffle speakers. You're getting output from the back of the speaker, like a direct output from the back of the speaker. Usually the woofer is open on the back and also the mid range is open on the back. The tweeter typically is firing forwards just like it would be in a box speaker. So it really doesn't matter like that comparisons off the table but you're getting output from the mid-range going back, bouncing off the front wall of your listening room into your face. So that's more room interaction than you would get from a box speaker. Also, anything above the bass region from your woofer is gonna be doing the same thing. It's gonna be bouncing off the front wall and coming back at you. This is something that you're not gonna get from a box speaker. And then in the bass region, as in, you can say anything from say 10 Hertz up to around hundred Hertz. That's omnidirectional anyway, as in it's coming, like it doesn't matter what's playing that bass. It's still going to energize the room in the same way. Okay. It's going to go out. It's going to bounce off the walls. It's going to energize that big block of jello that you have to picture your room as, or the air in your room. And in particular, what people refer to when they say less room interaction seems to be, from what I gather, to be in the base region, as in they are less likely to activate room modes because of that side cancellation that's happening. And as I said before, the only reason, like if you have a room mode and you have something that's playing that frequency, it doesn't matter how it's playing it. It's going to activate it. It's going to be, you're going to get standing waves. It's as simple as that. There's no avoiding that. It doesn't have anything to do with any cancellation that's happening. The only thing that could, the cancellation would do is reduce the amount of bass you have at that modal frequency. And if you can take that as less room interaction, then fine, then that's true. But what you actually have, is less bass output overall. So that's the reason why you'll get, you know, more room interaction, so-called, from a box speaker, say even a sealed speaker, but especially from a vented speaker that goes lower because there's more bass there to interact with those modes in the room. And the way to measure room interaction in the bass region actually throughout the frequency range is to measure it in the room and plot that over time. That's called a waterfall plot. And it shows the strength of the original you know, signal. And then it shows how it dies out over time. So in your waterfall plot, you're going to see like a, a, a ridge line <laughs> up at the top. And then you're going to see the sides of the mountain coming down and the, the shallower the slope, as in the further they, they slope ahead, that equals ring time, how long those things are staying around. And when you have a room mode, what happens is you get an extension of that ring time. It's resonating. The room is resonating at that frequency. So I have an example that I did, uh, more than two years ago when I was sorting out what kind of speakers I was going to build to begin with. My original plan was to build a vented sub, actually an isobaric vented sub. I had these four 
um, woofers, 12 inch woofers. I could use two in each box, stereo subs. But at the time I got waylaid a little bit and decided to experiment with open baffle subs in the same way and compare the two directly. So I did that at the time I made measurements and I can put that on the screen here. The first one that you're looking at is the isobaric sub in that vented box. And you can see the uh, response extends down to 20 Hertz and that's where it starts to fall off. So I'm getting good base extension at a, you know, good sensitivity with that arrangement. And then with the same, uh, same drivers, two of them in an open baffle arrangement, I'm only getting extension down to 30 Hertz, but the dimensions of my room mean that my lowest room mode is around 37 Hertz, 37, 38 Hertz. And both subwoofers activated that room mode. They are both doing the same thing because they're both putting around out about the same amount of bass at that 37 Hertz. The interesting thing I see about this is that you'll hear people saying that open baffle speakers have less room interaction over and over and over again. And nobody challenges that, even though it's, it's fairly obvious that you're going to get the same or more room interaction than you would with a box speaker, simply because you have more output. You have that output from the back and it's, and it's not overwhelmed by the cancellation you get at the sides. And I've got another example to show here. It's the speaker that I designed recently, the open baffle three way that I talked about maybe selling still not hundred percent on that, but I did an on axis and off axis set of measurements on that. And I went right out to 90 degrees. And so you can see the on axis right here, straight ahead with the microphone one meter from the speaker. And then I swung it all the way around to 90 degrees. And you can see that there's still quite a lot of output that's reaching the 90 degree position at one meter away from the speaker. I didn't do this at the time, but it stands to reason that if I kept going, you know, I went from 90 to 110, 120, right out to 180, that it would go right back up again, except for the tweeter response would, wouldn't be there, of course, because it's not firing backwards, but mid range woofer R. And so the response would be almost identical at the very back of the speaker, one meter away from it, as it would be to the front. But here's the other thing that I should point out. The output from the back of the speaker, the back of the cone of the mid range and the woofer, can't be the same as the output from the front because there is a different geometry at work there. The back of the cone is shaped like this. And this is especially important for the mid range, not really a, that much of a big deal for the base, but for the mid range, yes. Also there is the basket that surrounds the cone on the back. It's not there on the front. Also there's the back of the speaker, how that's built when it's open has an effect on it. So all of this changes that signal slightly at the rear of the speaker. So it has less cancellation at the side. You're not getting the exact same signal at the back as you are at the front. Therefore you're reducing the amount of cancellation or dipole effect you get at the sides. So the next time that you hear somebody say that open baffle speakers don't interact with the room, send them to this video and let them watch it. Maybe we can work together to, I don't know, cancel <laughs> the misinformation that's out there on this subject. And once again, I need to remind people that I am not an expert on audio, but I've been involved with thinking about it and doing it for a long time. I have a lot of practical experience. Also, I'm not exactly stupid as I've admitted before. So I think about things. I think about how things are working 
and I come to conclusions based on my observations, also on measurements, as in objective data, when I showed in this video, and also I do the research. If I get interested in the subject, I actually look it up and I read about it.